day, my little teacups. Would you like to join me on a strange adventure? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Roundabout. Possibly the most batshit driving game I've ever bloody seen. I've only played like one level of it, but... Well, I think you can see from the menu, can't you? Shall we? It's... It's a driving puzzle game, if that makes any sense. Ah, the city of Roundabout. I'll let it explain itself. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh boy, you are. Hi there, uh, Geo Riggio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Yep. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin, uh... instead of fighting it. Ah! No, no, shit. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here you go. I'm, I'm just going to see if I can turn off... Uh, is the 70s post-processing still on? No. Okay. Back again. Welcome to Roundabout. You can see what I mean about it. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, you would drive around in this limousine that is continuously turning over. And Even it's really small difficult. Small obstacles. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. But, but against everything else, Ow. unstoppable. And of course, the main one, well, the main selling points for this game Drive is its target and spin. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk. One uh, of the main selling points for the game is its strange, strange setting, and also the fact that, as you probably saw, the cutscenes are all. Unusual, in a kind of command and conquer, red alert kind of way. Oh shit! Ooh. Stop here at the DMV gate. Uh, dude, the the uh, ah ah. I appear to have exploded. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just grab these. I don't really know what they do. Limorama. All right. Uh, uh, okay. This is why it's completely weird to play. Like. I can't really describe to you what this is going to feel like, but oh no. Well, I guess you passed, barely. <laughs> really? Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. How the fuck did I Enjoy pass? Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. Thank you. Press RB at the end of the ride to bring up your report card. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers <laughs> everywhere. Experience a true oh God. In transportation. But okay. What cost? Note to self: never press the left trigger. You will go boost mode. Pick up Mickey the mechanic. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? I'm, I'm not sure. I can't guarantee you we'll get there in one piece. Maybe we'll get there in several. Pardon me. I also can't help but notice uh, the really unusual green screening going on in those cutscenes. The fact that the windows are blacked out, but we always seem to be at the DMV whenever Giorgio... Is it Giorgio? 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 I think it's Giorgio. Oh, pile of money! Cash stash. Thank you. Spinning thing is even better from the inside. I'm not sure how you said that while our bodies collab collapsed and exploded into several bits, but all right. Okay. I think I'm... I, oh, I can use the left trigger to kind of turn on the spot. Oh, more money. More money. I have a mighty $20. Lovely. 
Okay, I've I've no idea where I'm going. I'm just following this arrow now. Hold X to use up to this. This is the future of transportation. Oh, I have a slow down button. So I have my speed up button and my slow down button. Lovely. What the hell? Ouch! Um, please repair. Oh, 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 I'm repaired. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Um, I am. Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Ugh. Okay, okay, you just met me. It's a little weird. But, kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. You just met me, and this is crazy. But here's my number. I'm a driver, maybe. Oh, just shit, shit, shit. And I'm ranked number one against friends. I have friends who play this? Who are you? Hi, driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics, and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Uh-huh. Sup. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. Uh -huh. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Okay. There, let's go pick him up. What? what? Horn found? Huh? Uh, uh, I blew up the kid. I, oh dear. Sorry, mother. I destroyed your child. Uh, uh. Sorry! Sorry! Yay! Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the bored yay was just too much for me. Also, one of them looks like Mark Ruffalo. I can't, just, I can't unsee that now. Let's take a bike up to school. So these kids, they're just perfectly fine, I guess, with me mowing down innocent civilians and animals, apparently. Yep. God damn you, tree! My arch nemesis, my natural predator is trees. Whoa! Bullet time, yes! <laughs> oh shit, what? Ah, uh, ah, no! Where? Excuse me, what? What, what is that signpost? No, I didn't read it. No, just let me read the sign, please. Okay. What are you doing? Yeah, that that is a, a man in his underpants posing with a record player. All right then. Nothing weird about this. No. Grocerio, out of this world. Grocerco, sorry. Not EO. I'm adding EO where EO does not belong. There's a lot of people wearing purple. Can we keep going, please? Pretty, please? Oh, fine. I... I have a, a bit of a soft spot, I must admit, for really... really terrible cutscene acting. There's a, there's a kind of beauty to it. It's just... With the bad green screening and everything, especially in this day and age, it's... It's lovely. There's, it takes effort to be that bad. I didn't even touch you. You just minced yourselves. Good lord. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Uh, I know oh, you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Yes. How do you find the those time, dude? Those kids are going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Oh, now, oh, 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 now you know my name, do you? Uh-huh, I see. Hmm. Now that you actually need some help from me. I'm just another nobody to you this morning. Huh. Again, I didn't even touch them and they just destroyed themselves. No, trees. Uh. Oh, I lost my multiplier. Oh, there's money back here. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Coming through. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, you kind of yeah, start to. Yeah, the school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. 
priorities, am I right? You kind of learn to move with the spin after a while. Oh god, this is gonna be really complicated when I try and play something else after it, isn't it? Yeah. No! No! Oh. Coming through! I am on fire and not in a good way. Coming through! Flaming limousine coming through! It's worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids. Listen up. Hey! Listen up! I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Uh, don't bring me into this, mate. Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Uh-oh. Show him. Okay then, dude. Um... Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before. Ah! But there's a first time. Home run! Alright, kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! You do realize the windows are shut, mate. The windows are shut, mate! Alright then, um... Where to next, audience? Well, clearly we have to mow down some civilians before we do anything. Yeah. There, there was some kind of greeny thing over here. I want to see what that was. Yeah. Okay. Now that's another limo rama. Oh, thank you. I'm repaired. Lovely. Okay. That that was definitely. I'm not seeing things. Am I? There was a green thing around here somewhere. And I have exploded. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. Ah, green thing. Quarter toss pizza. Oh, so quarter toss plaza. Sorry, I got pizza on the brain. Purchase for twenty dollars. Huh? I own property. I just bought that place for twenty dollars. Really? That's a steal. Roundabout's economy is a very strange thing. Uh my date down the road. Oh. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. No, I will help you, friend. I will help you, sir. Oh, no. Let's see how this goes. Oh, she's allergic to flowers. Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Don't overthink this, mate. It's okay. Whoa. Slow mo. Whatever you do, don't overthink it. Otherwise, it all gets awkward really quickly. Just try and be all nervous and shaky. That way, it will be that anyway, and it'll all be going to plan. And yes, I st shamelessly stole that line from Doctor Who. Yeah. Ow. Stop. Stop, please. <laughs> Just repair the limit. Excuse me, Mr. Date Guy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you late, but I'm... Uh... Busy running over civilians, apparently. Hi. Uh... Let's... Let's go, driver. Oh, It's adorable! Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, shit, dead end. I will try and make sure nobody explodes. So, Just for you, mate. Uh, you like movies? Yeah. Movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah. I love movies. What about you? Uh... uh... Uh, even I'm with her there, dude. That was a bit weird. I've just realized my tire tracks are red with blood. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay. God's sake, who parks like this? Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. How do you know my name? Hey. You got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! Whoops. Sorry, dude. Best of, best of luck to you. I'm just gonna be going on a killing spree. What? I have some anger issues. I need to work on That person just ran through a wall! Oh my god, there they are! Get them! It was worth it. Ugh. 
Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Ooh. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Seriously? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! You really want me to book it? Alright. I can book it! This was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. What the hell am I doing? Shit! Uh. How about Falling Giorgio's Skinny Limousine? I'll be back to that one. Right here, right here! Oh my gosh, you are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Does that count as booking it, love? Hey, so I'm only in town for a little bit, but. Are you kidding me? Are you. Sure, use a groovy driver like you to show me around. Are you kidding me? And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? Your your lipstick is really smeared. Uh, dear, your your lipstick. All right then. Uh, okay. I I still don't know how I've gone from being on fire to being perfectly fine. Uh, I suppose we just continue on. Onwards. Bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. Mm-hmm. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him, post haste. I like the cut of your gibberish, sir. Onwards! No, no, as I bump into something immediately. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. Mm -hmm. should definitely do a lot better. Uh, tell me more. I, I see him. Pull past him and I'll drag him in. We got him. Head back to the church. Awesome. Um. I've caught fire again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, father. Didn't mean to explode. That's probably against the rules, isn't it? Um. Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. I think, I think I'm a woman, sir. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Uh. Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Um, I don't. Well, I had a good run, I reckon. I've honestly never heard of a, of a wedding where the priest is the one who ran away. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, wait. There's a car horn. Sure. Uh, what is this forklift doing? Oh, well, well, God, what the... Cash, thank you. Um, <laughs> what? What's with the half pipes? Oh, hello. Customized limo. Hats? The, f the hell? Greg the Eagle. Horns. Paint. The Giorgio Spooky Limo. Julius. Living room wallpaper. Hideo. Oh, really? You've got a. You put a bloody Metal Gear Solid joke in there and. What the f. Here, can I have a bit of wood? What the hell? I can't even... Okay. I picked Spooky Limo. <laughs> and I'm going to put a snowman on it. There we go. Now... This feels like my kind of limo. The hell? Okay, I'm definitely rotating the other way now. So those things just... Hang on. 
Oh, they do? Huh! They can curb my swerve, dude. And I have exploded. No, oh, no. Actually, this is way better. What What the hell is going on with the spooky limo? I can't, I can't quite get over this. What? It's just going all over the place. What the fuck? Oh, God. Sorry, I didn't mean to run you all over. Well, what's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Thank you. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time of year. Mm-hmm. Pick up Ronaldo. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no. I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. That is a terrible, to show me your terrible magics. voice. All right, show off your driving skills for Ronaldo. Evening. Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Um, I'm not even sure. How the hell do you come up with this? And also, how am I doing it? Being another question. In a physical... Uh -huh. but how do you What's up? Oh. I'm on fire again, I think. I can't tell. The limo's too spooky for me. And... Oh! Masterful! Um, I wouldn't even begin to know, Ronaldo. I like you. Ah, destroy all the fences. Sorry, I have a bit of a vendetta against fences. I think the snowman's rather appropriate, don't you, for the time of year? No, no, turn, change direct, thank you. Oh, that was all the information I needed. My foolish friend. <gasps> a revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as what? the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. Uh, oh, oh, you no. bastard. So oh, you're going down, mate. You're going down and round them out. Where are you? Come on, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Come on! Is this you? No, well, uh, yeah, I've, I've exploded again, haven't I? I think that's where I'm going to be ending this very unusual episode today. Thank you very much for watching, audience. Merry Christmas Eve to you. And, to the end card, Hong Kong. Thank you very much for watching, audience. I have been the over-Englishman. This has been... Roundabout. Please, never forget to leave a like, to leave a comment, to subscribe, to share this any way you feel like it, and check out some of these beautiful people listed here. Merry Christmas Eve to you all, and farewell!